Minister in the Presidency Jackson Mtembu will be laid to rest on Sunday during an official funeral at his home in Imahlahleni in Pomalanga. Mtembu passed away yesterday from COVID-19 related complications. The national flag will be flown at half-mast at every flag station in the country from tomorrow morning until Sunday. In a statement, the Presidency says that Mtembu contributed immensely to the liberation struggle and occupied several strategic leadership roles in the Democratic South Africa. Let's cross now to our reporter Natasha Piri, who is following this story. She joins us live from Imahlahleni in Mpumalanga. Uh, Natasha, what, what's the activity? You are outside the family home. Well, a very good evening to you, Francis, and of course, to SABC viewers once again, indeed. Um, you know, it was a very quite emotional day here outside um, the late minister's home in Emalakleni. We saw um, people coming in, uh, just paying their last respects uh, to Mtebo and the Mtebo family. Uh, we early at three o'clock, around three, saw that motorcade um, that comprised of, uh, you know, officials from government, Francis, and other entities uh, like uh, Brand SA and the NYDA. We spoke to the statistician general, uh, Mr. Maluleke, earlier on, and, you know, just he was relating the fond memories that he actually has of Mr. Mtembu. As you know, that uh, there will be a memorial service uh, tomorrow that is held by the GCIS, and that will be virtual. And uh, tomorrow, we also expect uh, the deputy secretary general of the ANC, his political home, to actually speak to us and members of the media. But let's just speak to somebody that we've been speaking to throughout the whole day today, who's quite uh, you know, crucial in um, Pumalanga politics. She is the provincial secretary of the party in Pumalanga, and uh, her name is Umam Lindiwe Njali Mama, thank you so much for your time once again. I mean, it's been quite a long day, a very emotional one. I know it hasn't been easy for you. I mean, you've also been up and down preparing here, um, you know, for the burial that will take place on Sunday. But in terms of the ANC's program, let's just uh, talk, talk to that. As the ANC... Uh, we are expecting the leadership. Tomorrow we'll be visited by one of our officials, uh, led by the Deputy Secretary General. We know that uh, we had Le Hutla today, so I'm delegated to be here and to see that as ANC we comply and we give the necessary support and uh, give guidance where it's necessary, but also paying our respects. I'm here on behalf of the ANC. They will be coming surely tomorrow, but we know that uh, government will be conducting its own virtual memorial in Pretoria. People will log in, there will be details, they will communicate. But on our side as the ANC, uh, we want firstly to plead with our communities and our comrades. Let's observe the 50 uh, people and lesser, not more than that. And uh, we want to uh, state it uh, clearly that here we've been saying once people have paid their respect, let them leave. Also cars that came in just for a drive-by and to pay their respect and we complied. And uh, we want to say we would make sure that people comply because this is real and it's not a child's play, we must make sure that we keep safe. But as the ANC will adjourn the Lekhutla uh, temporarily on Sunday so that we give our respect to Comrade Jackson and uh, members of the uh, uh, officials will be here also to pay their respect, but also the memorial service of the ANC that will be conducted virtually will be on Monday. We will communicate an issue, a statement on what time, uh, but it will be virtually because because really we respect this uh, pandemic. I, it is real and our people must just put on the mask, social distance, wash their hands. If it's not necessary, please don't go out. Mm -hmm. Mam Chali, I mean, we couldn't go inside the family home because of COVID-19 regulations. Uh, we spoke to Ubab Mtembu's um, brother, Ubab Michael Mtembu. I mean, he was very emotional as well. Perhaps, you know, just talk the viewers through the mood inside the house. How are things? I mean, Bob Mtembu survived by his kids and his wife. This isn't an easy time, more especially because we can't mourn, you know, the, 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 the African way. I mean, we have to mourn now under COVID-19 regulations. How's the mood inside the house? It is painful. We spoke to the wife earlier. We met her and uh, it's, it's, it's really emotional. We don't even know how to comfort her. Remember, if Babum Tembu 
was any other person who said I would work from home, but he didn't. He had to leave the family and come to work and communicate and give uh, information to our communities. So it was a very emotional one and the short period. And I must say, we felt the pain of the wife because the 72 hour mm. to plan everything and bury and within two hours. And it's what the wife said, we are going definitely to comply mm. because we must lead by example. Difficult as it may be and the kids, but we're saying we should lead by example. And because we're burying one of the principled men and his husband would want us to comply, it's exactly what the female is going to do. And I must say, you know, there's the, 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 the information she shared with us to say it's not good to be affected and be hospitalized and uh, you are just alone. Mm. That thing to say you cannot even see your mm. family member, it's something that uh, psychologically they were not prepared to deal with mm. and it's a matter that is very difficult for the family mm. and uh, everybody even remember the service on Sunday will be just having a service and the hash will come after as we move you know our traditions are not going to be exercised as well as uh, we used to and we're saying if everybody could comply and uh, the, 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 the female in the house, there are not many mm -hmm. uh, uh, where they are seated mm -hmm. and there's compliance. Don't go and be there for too long if you want to give your respects. Mm -hmm. And some of the family members, there's a list and they are complying. Please follow us on social media, follow us on other platforms if you want to uh, 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 share this day with them. But we must make sure that we respect them. And we're not doing it out of uh, saying comrades must not come, communities must not come. Remember, if we are not complying, they would uh, charge the family, mm -hmm. not us. Mm -hmm. So we're pleading with everybody. We know they love Babum mm -hmm. Tempo, they love Comrade Jackson, they want to come and support the family. Mm -hmm. But for making sure that uh, his principles are not compromised, yes. let's give our respect, mm -hmm. showing and giving messages. Outside there is a message of book that uh, mm -hmm. the, the department have left. Just come and give your mm -hmm. message of support. But even tomorrow is the ANC in Pumalanga, the branches we said, we'll just do a, mot a motorcade that will just pass. Okay. And we're saying, let's all comply. Thank you so much, Nam Chali. We definitely will catch up with you tomorrow as the ANC uh, Deputy Secretary General, Jesse Duarte, is expected to come visit uh, and show her, her messages of support tomorrow at 12 o'clock. And, uh, you know, definitely a, health, uh, a heartfelt uh, plea here from the Provincial Secretary of the ANC in the province, Umam Lindy and Jalin Jali Francis, pleading with people to actually, you know, adhere to the COVID-19 regulations. Remember that uh, Minister Mtembu was a man who was at the forefront of government's messaging around COVID-19. And I mean, sadly, just also speaking to his brother earlier on, the last words that he gave his brother was that he should adhere to COVID-19 regulations, he should sanitize his hands, maintain his social distancing and wear a mask at all times. But as, as SABC, we will give you rolling coverage uh, of this tomorrow and on Sunday where uh, South Africans and the nation at large will pay their final respects uh, to the late uh, minister. Back to you, Francis. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Natasha. So a family in mourning, a country in, in mourning, uh, just incredible tributes continue come, to come in. Uh, so uh, fondly uh, is Jackson Mtembo remembered by so many people, including including us uh, here in the media.